Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another big episode of CSK News with some great stories for all of you. Our first one having to do with Fredadelphia, which starts next Friday, January 13th. Now, why it's such a big story for all of you guys? Not a big price, but only $30,000 on the line here for these teams. But the thing is, it's an unregulated event, which means it's not tied to Valve. An open event, meaning anyone can join. VAC band players, officially Valve band players as well. Hint, hint, wink, wink for all of you guys. TSM Twist tweeted out this a couple days ago for his five-man team. Will, of course, include himself alongside Desi and Whitmer. Many of you guys know two North American pros currently not on a roster right now, but have a lot of respect, especially for Whitmer there. So Twist, Desi, Whitmer, they'll be joined by their fourth member, who will be a female player known as Patero. She's actually a female streamer as well as an assistant to a regional manager for the Dignitas organization. When she does stream, by the way, guys, she pulls in 500 to 600 viewers, an absolutely amazing CSGO player. Going to be really cool to see that. But even more importantly, we will see the current Cloud9 streamer. Many of you guys know him from his I by Power days. That will be the return of Brax, otherwise known in game as Swag. He will be returning, guys, at Fragadelphia to competitive play. It's going to be so fun to see. He is the sole reason. This team is the sole reason, guys. I'm going to be watching Fragadelphia all next weekend. It can be really cool to see if, if Swag still has that swag on him, if he can still play competitively. Obviously, he's a Cloud9 streamer. He does stream every now and again and been taking breaks every now and again as well. But it can be really cool to see, guys. Fragadelphia that means the return of that former IBA Power swag. It can be really cool to see that. Also, next story, guys, we have several new CSGO teams coming in 2017 and I want to talk about the first one. is going to be Penta Gaming and a really, really solid roster here. Of course, they will have Steph in their only returning member will be Stefan. He was at first a trial member a couple months ago, and he is now permanently on that Penta Gaming roster. They will also see former ENDS player Sonny, a really solid lineup here, also joined by Crystal. And really big story for all of you guys, we have the return of Swag at Fragadelphia. We now have the return of former Hellraiser's Oscar. Many of you guys know this guy because he had several personal issues. You know, there was the talks of maybe he potentially scammed a kid out of a knife because he had to pay rent or pay for electricity bills or whatever it may be. He now has returned guys from personal issues to this Penta Gaming roster. He's going to be one of the strong Strongest rosters of 2017 for these lower tier teams, tier two, tier three. This Penta Gaming roster is absolutely amazing. So they'll be rounded out by Oscar as well as Stefan, and they'll also be joined by Mike S and Crystal, who formerly just lost their FPL ranks, but still Crystal and Mike S, very solid players as well. This five man Penta Gaming roster in 2017 is going to be one to look out for and probably be one of your best ones you do see. So we will have Stefan, Sonny, Oscar, Crystal, and Mike S all on one team. A really cool lineup to look out for, guys, but also German actually oriented roster. They played for North American. NRG. Now the three the three man German roster will be Gabi, Legia, and also Tabson. They'll be joining a new team. They're going to name their new team Team Big, and they'll be joined by Keeve and Nex. That is former Mouse Sports Nex. So again, these two new teams, guys. Penta Gaming has a new roster, and Team Big, composed of the former Energy players, going to be really really big lineups here. And again lineups that are going to challenge these tier two teams very very likely so it's going to be really cool to see what these guys do in 2017 those are two brand new CSGO teams to look out for in 2017 and what you guys see on screen right now is of course the biggest back band wave of 2017 in our first ones we've had about four or five days now in 2017 and every single day we've had around a thousand accounts back band a grand total so far you know today only five days into 2017 over four thousand accounts have been back band with values up to upwards of a hundred thousand dollars guys so probably egging on that you know skin market rise we're going into right now. I was going to talk about this in a separate story, but the skin market rise is still on, guys, during the holiday season. We have red lines up nearly 25% every night. The low tier knives, like I told you guys about, Boreal Forest, Safari Mesh, you know, in the Falcon gut knife region are still up around 30% as well. Lower knives now in OP skins, ranging from about $24 in July, are now up to $33. So skins and knives, guys, are rising like crazy, as well as rare knives. I read the comments in our last video as well. We do have, you know, those rare knives, those crimson webs, those sapphire rubies. Those are up always also growing in price as well. But more so, I did want to talk about, guys, currently, you know, we do have Valve servers not doing too well. I told you guys about the servers being down for about, you know, 36 hours at a time a couple days ago, as well as yesterday going down in the, in the North American region as well. Steam servers have not been doing very well, so Valve not doing well in that region, but still, they are vac band hunting, guys, and they've been vac banning a ton so far in 2017, so that's been great to see. Funniest CSGO streams I've ever watched in my entire life. I'm going to bounce right into it, guys. I have not yet ever seen a funnier CSGO stream as Manny the Dog. I'm going to link it down below for all of you guys to check this guy out. He literally programs his CSGO streams so all you see is a virtual dog. This guy dances, he talks through his dog while the actual streamer himself, he'll play the game of CSGO but it looks like the actual dog is playing. He'll dance, he has you know hotkeys for all this stuff. It is one of the most entertaining things possible. When you first stumble across it you think, oh maybe he got a donation, maybe he's just like putting his dog in a chair. Then you maybe think, oh maybe it's like a five minute thing. The entire stream is done by Manny the dog. It's so funny to see. Bouncing into our next story guys, we of course have 
the official signing. We've actually mentioned this several times, too many times in CSGO news. Yes, FC Copenhagen has signed the Exignitas guys, and their new team is Team North. They actually came out with a really cool hype video. They're actually referencing Game of Thrones there. So yes, they've officially been signed, guys, by FC Copenhagen for WESG Finals in the E-League Major. They will be playing as Team North. A really kind of, you know, probably an anticlimactic name there. I kind of expected something to be like FC something, you know, really cool. Unfortunately, though, guys, they are now Team North. Going to be really cool to see what they do in 2017 as well. And for anyone out there who needs a clarification of the whole Iva Power situation, if you guys are not a North American fan, you guys probably really not care. I thought about this morning, guys. If I was a European watcher anywhere besides North America, I would really not have too much fondness or really too much care about the whole Iva Power situation, which officially announced by Valve one year ago from today. So I want you guys to know clarification-wise, today is January 5th of 2017. One year ago from today, January 5th of 2016, Valve announced officially those bans that were dealt out uh, in 2015 were permanent. So it's a one-year anniversary of those bans being marked as permanent, but it is a one-year review. So pot potentially, guys, if we can force Valve's eyes open, maybe have them review this case, although it is permanent and life lifelong bans, maybe have their eyes open, maybe have them release a public statement about the whole situation for the first time ever. Now, again, clarification, it was nearly two years ago where those bans were initially actually dealt out, but it was not for another, you know, nearly a year where Valve finally came out last year and said those bans were permanent. So yes, the whole instance, guys, was actually two years ago, but Valve has only announced a year ago from today that those bans are going to be permanent. So maybe even though they're permanent bans, guys, we get that rule of the one-year review case. We can actually open Valve's eyes. Leave a like down below or maybe leave a hashtag or something down below. Valve has yet to respond throughout those two years, yet to respond once publicly about the whole situation about Iowa Power and all those members involved. So really going to be cool to see if Valve does eventually respond to the case and say at least some kind of public statement. They're probably not going to, though, so that sucks. I just wanted to bring it up, though, because I, I miss the guys and North America needs another hope. As always, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of CSK News. It was a very, very fun one to make. I do have some great news for you guys coming in the next couple of days. Maybe a new sponsor as well as some really cool news for live streams and as well as school coming back. It can be really kind of fun to go back to school at the same time though. I'm going to be taking six classes this semester. going to be very busy, but I hope to be going back to full-time live streaming as well as YouTube for all of you guys during this school year. So it's going to be a really fun year. going to be a great year of 2017. I never made a 2017 video because I didn't want to have a long video just saying my goals and stuff, but I might make a 2017 video. If you guys want to see that, leave a comment down below if you guys would like to see a personal video of me kind of sitting down and saying my goals for 2017, what the channel is going to be doing. Hope you guys all enjoy this episode. As always, live, love, laugh, a lot. My name is Jake. Remember, I like you. I will see you guys all tomorrow, hopefully soon with live streams as well and more giveaways for all of you guys. Thank you all so much for your generosity. I will see you guys all soon. Remember, I like you. Goodbye.